हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand multiple feedback bandpass filter. From our previous discussion, we know that the bandpass filter has a bandwidth of f two minus f one, and center frequency as a square root of f one into f two, and the quality factor can be given as f not divided by bandwidth. so these thing we have understood in our previous video so here you need to remember if the quality factor value is less than 1 then the filter has wide band response and if quality factor value is greater than 1 then the filter has narrow band response so you need to remember that if quality factor is having the value less than 1 then the filter has wide band response and if quality factor value is greater than 1 then the filter has narrow band response so if you want to build a band pass filter with lower cut off frequency as 300 hertz and upper cut off frequency as 3.3 kilohertz then the center frequency can be given as square root of f1 into f2 here 300 hertz we can take it as f1 and 3.3 kilohertz we can take it as f2 therefore we can write center cut off frequency as square root of 300 into 3.3 kilo so we will get 995 hertz we can find bandwidth by taking f2 minus f1 so it will be equal to 3.3 kilohertz minus 300 hertz so bandwidth will be equal to 3 kilohertz we can find quality factor of bandpass filter as f0 divided by bandwidth so here f0 is 995 hertz divided by 3 kilohertz which is bandwidth so quality factor will be equal to 0.332 to design a bandpass filter of lower cut off frequency 300 hertz and upper cut off frequency 3.3 kilohertz so we can take f1 is equal to 300 hertz f2 is equal to 3.3 kilohertz the center frequency of this bandpass filter will be 995 hertz and the bandwidth will be 3 kilohertz and the quality factor of this bandpass filter will be 0.332 which is less than 1 so the bandpass filter will be having a wide band response so we can design a bandpass filter by cascading a high pass filter and low pass filter as shown in this figure this is the response of high pass filter with cut off frequency 300 hertz and this is the response of low pass filter with cut off frequency 3.3 kilohertz since we have cascaded the high pass filter with a low pass filter the overall response of the band pass filter will be addition of response of high pass filter and band pass filter so we'll get the response of band pass filter with lower cut off frequency 300 hertz and upper cut off frequency 3.3 kilohertz as shown in this figure for this response we have calculated the cut off frequency bandwidth and the quality factor now let us understand narrow band filter as we know if the quality factor is greater than 1 there will be a narrow band response of multiple feedback bandpass filter the filters that produce narrow band response is known as narrow band filters for a narrow band filter we can use multiple feedback filter as shown in this figure here the input is applied to the inverting terminal of an op amp and 
it has two feedback path one is from the capacitor and another one is from the resistor for the band of frequencies between low frequency and high frequency this circuit will act as inverting amplifier for other frequencies the output is zero the voltage gain for this circuit can be given as av is equal to minus r2 divided by 2 r1 so r1 and r2 are the resistors connected in this circuit the quality factor can be given as 0 0.5 multiplied with square root of r2 divided by r1 and the center frequency can be given as 1 divided by 2 pi c into square root of r1 r2 this is about multiple feedback bandpass filters hope you have understood the topic thank you